Okay, uh, continuing uh, part four, explore number four of Parts of an Atom. Today's date. The essential question. What is the difference between atomic mass and atomic number? Okay, let's write that down. What is the difference between Atomic, atomic mass and atomic number question mark. Okay. And if we do a real quick perusal through here, we can see that we've got um, atomic mass versus atomic number. We've got uh, a couple paragraphs dedicated to that, three paragraphs. We have a video, and we have a homework question. Hmm. This also looks like a pretty brief explore, which we're thankful for, right? Okay, well, let's start with Roman number one. Atomic mass versus atomic number. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just go ahead and go through the text there. Uh, the atomic, but I think we've already addressed this atomic number. Uh, you already should recall from our past conversations that this number here. Uh, it refers to simply the number of protons. And um, the atomic mass, this is a little different than the atomic mass unit. The atomic mass is going to be uh, the average mass of all the isotopes of a particular element. Okay, this is not the same thing. Not AMU. We're not talking about atomic mass units here. We're talking about uh, a more precise uh, thing called atomic mass. Okay. So the atomic number of an element equals the number of protons in the nucleus of its atoms. Check. We got that. We know that. Yep. The atomic number is the same for every atom of a particular element. Okay. So that's, that's maybe worth noting. Okay. Uh, A. Atomic number equals the number of protons in the nucleus. of an atom. It is the same number regardless of the isotope. Right? You could have hydrogen one, hydrogen two, hydrogen three, they're all gonna have one proton. You could have carbon 12, carbon 14, they're all going to have six carbons for the atomic number, okay? It does not change. The mass number will vary for different isotopes of the same element because different numbers of neutrons are present 
in the atoms. Okay. Mass number is usually used to describe a specific isotope that a scientist is working with in a lab. The isotopes of hydrogen have mass numbers of 1 and 2 for hydrogen 1 and hydrogen 2, respectively. Okay. Mass number varies. Due to varying numbers of neutrons, right? And that makes your isotopes. Mass number is usually used to describe a specific isotope, okay? So, um, especially used to refer to an isotope of interest. This could be like what the, um, the researchers are looking for when they drill uh, an ice core out of um, some sea ice, uh, perhaps. And they're looking for a particular uh, oxygen isotope, right? Then they would be uh, referring to it by its mass number oxygen 16 or oxygen 11 or whatever, right? Okay, so um, clear that. So uh, let's say uh, this might be the isotopes of hydrogen have a ma have mass numbers of one and two for hydrogen one and hydrogen two, respectively, okay? Okay, uh, mod third paragraph here. Modern technology has enabled scientists to calculate the exact masses of protons and neutrons. While the atomic mass unit is still a relative value, okay, so we should um, maybe write this down here because we've been talking about atomic mass units. Right, these are AMUs. Are a relative unit, right? You just count the protons and the neutrons. It's not necessarily very exact, is it? Well, the um, the atomic mass is then the answer to that. This then becomes a very specific uh, number here. So what do we got? The atomic mass unit is still a relative value. Uh, okay, by definition, okay, by definition, it is defined as one twelfth the mass of stable carbon. Okay. The precise measure of the mass of an atom of a specific element is referred to as its atomic mass. The atomic mass of hydrogen one is 1.008 AMU. Wow, notice all of a sudden we got these decimals. And the atomic mass for hydrogen 2 is 2.014. Notice the decimals here, right? When you're talking about these, you know you're probably talking about atomic mass. Okay, so now we're talking about uh, some average numbers. And uh, we're going to be showing you here pretty soon how to actually calculate those, okay? So um, atomic mass units. Letter D, we have uh, atomic mass. Uh, 
this is a precise measurement. of the mass of an atom. Okay. And I don't believe that um, you have a video here. I really am going to recommend that you watch this video. Okay, watch that video. Okay. The next section, Explore Number 5, is actually going to cover uh, the calculations and it's going to be um, using the information that you saw in this video okay so why don't you go ahead and watch that just as a uh, way to kind of set you up okay and then of course you're going to have some homework question that you're going to find inside your formative and that's going to do it for us right now so this was uh, what is the difference between atomic mass okay we got that um this versus the atomic number. Okay, so there and there. These were questions from your, this was your essential question, right? What is the difference between atomic mass and atomic number? So you should be able to answer that question pretty easily now in your formative. All right, I'll talk to you on Explore 5. Oh, by the way, make sure you do a summary sentence.